Hello and welcome to our Academic Advisor tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to add courses to your shopping cart in Oasis so that you are ready to go for registration. So first I want to go over the two screens that I have open. The first one is the CSUMB website. So we're going to log into our dashboard in order to access Oasis, our student center. So just sign in with your Otter ID or password. And we are going to go ahead and click on Oasis, which will bring you to your student center. So we have our student center set up here. And what we're going to do is add classes to our shopping cart. So you want to go to enrollment shopping cart. And here it'll actually allow you to pick your term. So we want to make sure we're in the correct term, which is fall 2019. You'll see it says fall 2018 here. So there's a lot of different ways that we can add classes to our shopping cart. The first way I want to show you is using the schedule. So if you click back into our other screen, we're in our dashboard, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find the class schedule listed at the end here. So you can look for classes two different ways. If it's a general education class, it's listed here. If you're searching by subject or the course title, it's listed here. You'll know what classes to register for because your academic advisor will be sending out emails with recommended classes for your first semester. If you have questions or you haven't received an email like that, kind of keep an eye out on the email that you first applied for. And you should also have access to your CSUMB um, email as well, so you can check there. So first, we want to go ahead and add our A1 oral communication class because my advisor told me to add one of those. So click on A1. And you'll see listed a bunch of different classes that are being offered this semester that'll cover that requirement. So a couple things to pay attention to. It'll have the course title. It'll have the course number, course title, the section. So there's multiple sections of this class, which just means it's a different time, different day, probably different professor. The course number, number of units, the seats that are taken and that are available, and then also the date and time that the class is being offered. So for me, I want to go ahead and add this class on Tuesday, Thursdays at 10. So you can take this number here, and we're going to actually copy it. Go back to our enrollment shopping cart, and you're going to enter that class number in this little box here. Click on Enter. It's going to give you a screen with all the course information again, so we can verify that we want this course. Go to Next, and now it's in your shopping cart. I want to go ahead and add another class, um, but I'm going to use a different way to search. So you can actually search when you're in Oasis. You'll click on Class Search. And this one, you need to know the subject title. Um, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add a Spanish class. So Spanish. And then I'm going to put 102 because I've taken a Spanish class before. And you'll see here at the bottom, it's going to give you a list of all the classes that are being offered for this semester in that course. So I wanna go through and kind of pick a class that I want. If you forgot what classes are in your shopping cart, you can actually see them up at the top here. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick one later during the day. Um, this four o'clock looks good, so select. Again, it's gonna give you that same course um, page with all the information. Go to next, and you can see it's now in your shopping cart. So I want to go ahead and add one more class. Um, I'm going to go back to the class schedule, go to return, and my advisor told me to pick a class for my major. So I'm going to go ahead and look at psychology. And I want to take psychology 100, first class in psychology. So you'll see in this section, it's really important to look at the section number because this class has a section 1 and a 51, which is kind of a little different. The number of units is three and zero. So usually if you see this, it means this class is kind of one class. They just break it into two different parts. So I'm going to take that first number of the course, section one, and I'm going to put that into my shopping cart. So go back to the other page, copy, paste, enter. And then it looks like that activity is it's prompting me to add that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go to next. Again, it takes me to that main screen. And I'm going to go to next here. So I have all three classes in my shopping cart. You'll see right now that I'm actually in the plan tab. So that means that I can kind of pay attention and just kind of prepare for the semester. 
So I'm going to click all these classes and I'm going to actually validate my shopping cart, which is a great tool to use because this will let you know if you have any kind of errors in your account. If you're missing something, maybe you haven't taken a prereq, go ahead and click on validate. And you'll see for two of my classes, there's some kind of error. So there's enrollment requisite are not met. That means there's a prereq that I haven't met. And it also looks like this class has instructor consent on it. So that means I need to get permission to, in order to add the class. So that means I'm going to need some permission codes. In order to get the codes, all I have to do is go back to the website and in the search, type in permission codes. It's going to take you to our academic advising website. What is a permission code? How do you know if you need it? So we just kind of covered that, but it'll also show you there. And then it'll give you a list of all the people that offer the, all those codes. So Spanish was one of them. So I know if I need to, a Spanish code, I can email the WLC department and they'll give me a code. So I'm going to go back into my shopping cart. And just for the sake of enrolling, can I kind of show you what that looks like? I'm going to click on the Enroll tab. So now I'm ready to enroll. For those two classes that I got errors, I would need permission codes in order to add. But I just want to show you what it looks like. So at the very bottom, there's a proceed to two of three. So this bar is going to pop up when you're actually eligible to register. So for new students, you won't be able to register until after orientation. Um, if you're not attending orientation, then it's going to be a little later in July, and you'll be getting those dates from your academic advisor. This student is able to register, so we're going to go ahead and proceed to two of three. Click on OK. It's giving me a couple of messages to read. I'm going to confirm all my classes. Finish enrolling. And you'll see for HCOM, I was able to get in. Status is enrolled. For the other two, I had those errors, which I saw in the, the validate screen, so I'm going to need to get some permission codes or talk to my advisor about that. You can go to add another class, and that's kind of the process. One other thing to kind of keep in mind, once you've registered for your classes, if for some reason you need to make some edits or drop, there's a drop link here. You can swap out classes, so instead of just completely dropping and having to re-add something, there's a swap feature that you can use. Um, also, just to highlight, we do have a schedule planner, which is another way to add classes. We're going to do a, a completely separate video for that, so definitely tune in if you want to use that tool. Um, and that's the conclusion of this video here. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to rewatch this video. It'll be on our website. You can also contact your academic advisor if you have more specific questions. And we'll see you at orientation. Thank you.